and welcome back. I've had a lot of comments and uh, emails about what handgun I was using in the Texas Multigun Championships videos. And so I thought I'd make a video and speak to it a little bit. Basically this is it. It's a custom STI, well it's a custom gun built on an STI frame. It was built by uh, Jimmy Mitchell at Bullet Works in uh, Breckenridge, Texas. It was actually a raffle gun which uh, we bought about twenty dollars worth of raffle tickets and my wife won it which was pretty cool not bad for twenty bucks but uh... It, originally it was in forty caliber for the raffle and uh... i had acquired a few parts at prize tables over the years like barrels slides and such so i got uh... one of the guys at sti to build me a nine millimeter upper for it so that's what you're seeing right here this is the nine millimeter upper I shot the Texas State Multigun or the Texas Multigun Championships with this gun in 9mm caliber. Like I said, the original one had a 40 caliber upper on it, and this is the one that came with. And by the way, this front fiber optic sight has dual uh, fiber in it, and uh, this is a design by Jimmy Mitchell at Bullet Works as well. I don't care for it all that much, but my wife seems to really dig it. So. This is her her gun, really, with with the addition of my stuff on here. When I had this made, I had it made into with a uh, bushing barrel on it, so that if I decided to compete in IDPA competitively, uh, this gun would work in there. Unless they've changed the rules since it's been a while since I've shot IDPA. Uh, the original one came with a bull barrel, and if I remember, they do not allow bull barrels to compete in IDPA. But anyways. It's it's a very basic gun. The uh, the the gunsmith at STI rounded off or radius. I don't know how you would say it. The way the slide is it's got that little triangular cut to it. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then I have the Dawson Precision Front Fiber Optic Sight, the .09 size. That's my favorite. And then it's got the adjustable uh, STI rear sight on the back. Uh, skateboard tape on the side for the grip. It seems to help me a lot manage my recoil by putting my thumb on that, that skateboard tape. And I say skateboard tape over the uh, safety walk tape that you would see on deck stairs and such just because this seems to bend a little bit more so if you were to go down around the radius the tape itself wouldn't crack and fall apart unlike some of the, the deck tape I've seen. The trigger for this gun is done from my wife's hand it's a STI a blank trigger. It's flat. We've ground it down to the proper length for her reach, being having small hands and all. And a flat trigger seems to help her with uh, consistency of shots. I think what was going on with her was with a curved trigger, she was either pulling at the top or pulling at the pulling at the bottom and pulling at the top. But she was getting wild shots all the time. But with a flat trigger, she seems to get a whole lot better accuracy with it. It has ambidextrous safeties on the side. It has an STI magwell. Um, it's not the Dawson Ice magwell like you saw on my STI pistol videos. Um, this one looks a lot cooler, I think, but you know, it, it, I'm sure it helps with the uh, reloading just as well. But it's a real nice gun. I really dig it. Let's take the top off. Or actually, let's go. Let's talk about magazines for a minute. This is a 38 Super Magazine, which I use in my uh, open guns. But you can pretty much take a 9mm and put it in one of these magazines, and it should pretty much function for the most part. But you might have a, have a malfunction. Because if you look here, the bullet on this side is a 9mm, and the bullet over here is a 38 Super. Notice the length difference in that? Well, these magazines are designed to take 38 Super. So once you put a 9mm in there, the overall length, your bullet's gonna has, has a lot of room to travel. So I take my 38 Super magazine, I take off the base pad. It's kinda dirty, I haven't cleaned anything since the match. Pull out my spring and you can buy these 9mm followers for the STI magazines and then I have a 9mm spacer and what this does is it takes up a little bit more of the space in the back 
to get your 9mm closer to the length of a 38 Super. I don't know if you can tell that. But uh, this will help get you a little bit more consistent uh, feeding. So if you're having feeding problems putting a 9mm round in a 38 Super magazine, this is what you can buy. You buy the spacer and you buy the follower. The follower itself is a lot shorter than the normal 38 Super one. As you can see, there's a gap right there in the back. A 38 Super follower is going to fill that gap all the way to the rear. But that's what this is for. So we'll put that back together. And if you if you have not seen these these base pads, this is so cool. It's a toolless base pad. It just slips on the bottom and locks into place. And this gives you plus two or plus one. I can't quite remember. They sell them in different variations depending on the length of your magazine too. Because in USPSA, the overall length of your magazine is what counts. Not how many bullets you can put in it, but the overall length. So depending on the length of your tube, you need a plus one or a plus two. But uh, these make it great for cleaning. I mean, take it apart, run your rag through there, and you're done. And you can get them in a few different colors. I don't think the choices are too much. You must always number your magazines too. If you ever have an issue with a magazine or think you have an issue with a magazine, you can at least track it back to the magazine, hopefully. So on the, the 40 portion that my wife has, I just have a plain Jane uh, recoil spring, or rather guide rod in there, full length guide rod. But my wife and her, she likes the recoil master from STI. And that's basically what this is. It's a double spring setup. And it supposedly gives you a little bit less recoil. To me, I can't really tell the difference. And I've got my guns sprung the way I like them. And so I, I don't really use this. And to take this apart, to get that spring out of there, you push it through here. And then you take the tool that comes with it and you snap it in place. Then you take the tension off. Pull the, pull the spring out. And there you go. So it's under tension right now at the moment. Um, they come in different colors. The springs are colored. Um, this is a orange, so I think it's like the heavy spring. And then there's a green one, which is the light spring. This is actually the tool, the teardown tool uh, for the light one. That's why it's colored green. I should have an orange one around here somewhere, but this one was easy to find. So when you go to take your gun apart, you would just cock it, lock it back and put this in its place and then the gun will come easily apart. But uh, these are not bad. She runs them in her open guns too. But uh, like I said, my guns are sprung the way I like them and I just, I don't feel the need for this anymore. For these recoil masters. I've given them a try, both the light and the heavy, and I just can't seem to get them to do right for me. But But this is it, 9mm STI. It's a sweet gun, love shooting it. And when I'm done, I'll just take this, this spacer right out of here and put the followers back on the springs and I'll have my 38 Super Mags back ready for me. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more shooting and gun related videos.